super slow moving train over there. I guess we'll go a different way. pavilion to already ditch a layer fairly lowly motive low lowly low motivation day for me today but it is a saturday that's 50 degrees december 2nd for us you never know when you'll see this kind of temperature again so i had to get myself out of the house i bring my big bag so i can have what i need there's a chance of rain today so I have a rain jacket in here this is kind of my winter setup here the zeitgeist on the jack the rack um if you've ever been interested in Jack the Rack, they finally um, have like affordable shipping. They must have brought a bunch over here and they're shipping from here instead of the original location. So shipping was outrageous with them for a while. Get mine in the initial Kickstarter so I didn't have to pay shipping, but I love it. It's just one of those things It fits on pretty much any bike. I have lots of bikes. Bikes like this don't really have any mounting points, so it just works really well for me. Couple of them too. So this is a cool little kind of cut. I mean, it's a marked route that takes you between two different legs of the hike and bike. So this is Silver Lake, Ohio. Really kind of pretty upper class neighborhood with a big lake and a really good route. So you just keep your eyes peeled for these little signs. Days before I had a bike computer. Really helpful. So November did end up being one of my lowest mileage months, probably since I started riding through the winter, uh, under 300 miles. Said some of that was positive, some negative. Um, awesome work trip, just being busy. As a freelancer, is always a good thing. Others not so good, being sick. And then just some weather not lining up with when I wanted to ride. Another thing though that's been going on is, my motivation, as I mentioned earlier, has just been a little lower. One of the obvious reasons for that is Aaron's broken ankle. You know, today being Saturday, would have been a morning we'll over our coffee. We planned something fun, somewhere cool to ride together. You know, maybe some new roads. We saw there's a new brewery out in Ravenna, a town we ride to sometimes. So yeah, having to go out alone is not something I'm against, as you know, but you know, a little less motivating some days. And today I didn't plan something more interesting or out of the usual because I've got a lot to do at home and if I'm going to be out solo, I'm just going to pedal for the most part. Not that I'm opposed to a solo beer either, but just didn't feel right. We've also had so many fun adventures traveling this year that I hate to say it, but there's a little bit of me that's like, yeah. Gonna walk out the door and go ride the bike path. So even though a huge part of this channel is, you know, finding local adventures and adventures at home, that's just also harder this time of year. Um, our mountain bike trails will be closed until they're frozen, if that happens. Our local fun cut stuff is also gonna be all muddy and then it just gets dark so early. <laughs> so your timing of getting out is so limited as I am not a morning, morning rider. That got me thinking of what are some things to do to combat the winter blues, the lethargy, lethar lethargy, lethargy, lethargic. How do you say that word? I read about what's going on here, but now I can't remember. 
One simple thing is some daydreaming. So me and Aaron have been talking about, let's start planning some ideas for summer and spring. Um, you know, kind of spitballing and thinking about what we want to do this year to make it a great year like last year was, or I guess it's still this year, whatever. But yeah, so just thinking of some ideas where we might want to travel, some different rides we want to do, some kind of stuff to keep us motivated for when she's better and the weather's better. Another thing would be better planning. So taking the time to plan better, more interesting routes, even if they're paved, maybe even getting in the car once in a while to get a little farther away. Um, enjoy doing that this summer on some of our, you know, rides that were within an hour of here. So yeah, maybe doing some more gravel if the weather cooperates, stuff like that. Could keep it a little more interesting. Also just planning to coordinate more with friends. Um, if you have to endure the cold and the darkness, it's a lot more fun when you're not alone. What do you guys who have less than favorable winter conditions do to stay motivated to get yourself out? Or do you just ride indoors? I realized I am 20 miles into a ride and I hadn't taken a sip of water. One of those things gotta remind myself when the weather changes. When I used to work at the farm, that would happen. Me and uh, the two other guys who mostly worked in the field, we'd like start to get these headaches in the fall and then we realized we just weren't drinking enough water when the uh, temperature first starts to drop. Oh yeah, one more big thing that motivates me to ride my bike in the winter. Making YouTube videos. <laughs> I like making YouTube videos. It is a good motivation for me. <laughs> this is actually the farm I worked at right here. Kind of why I stopped riding bikes too. When you work a 15 hour day in the summer, you do not feel like getting on your bicycle after that. I would always hope for really good fall weather in November. So I'd get a chance to get out after we closed on Halloween. Well, we are gonna see how soggy the towpath is. Only gotta do a couple miles on it, but I think I'm probably gonna end up getting real dirty. And so is my bike. I need to buy a new clip-on fender. Mine broke at higher ground. And it was just kind of dragging on the tire. Then I looked back at some point and it was completely gone, so. We're not at the low point, but it's not too bad yet. I thought it was gonna all be soggy. It's rained for two days straight, I think. Wow, I just saw a big old owl up in one of the trees down here. I don't think it's ever happened in this area. Uh, and uh, Aaron, if you're watching this, I did not actually see an owl, I just made that up. I was gonna head home, I'm 30 miles in, but I think I'm gonna swing by the bike shop and get a new clip-on fender while I'm out. Shop's closed the next two days, Sunday and Monday, so now is kind of my chance. Decided on a little downtown loop before we head to the bike shop, because why not?
brand new bike lane. Look at this asshole parking right here. Testing out this semi-custom ghost grappler. It'll be for sale at Dirty River. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If you don't have one of these, what are you even thinking? Granted, this one's not adjusted yet. It's way too close to my tire, but obviously I'm gonna bring it home by just putting it on my bike. <laughs> Hey, thanks for riding with me today. Wait, wrong channel. And the ride by the, still the wrong channel. Hotline. Right. <laughs> Anyways, rode just under 40 miles, just under 1500 feet of elevation. Pretty chill pace. I think my average is like 13 miles an hour. So yeah, just a good day out on the bike. I don't know, December vlogs, all that stuff. If you are looking to support the channel, channel memberships or check out our little store down below We've got some fun stuff in there you know buy yourself a christmas present or a hanukkah present or just buy yourself something because then i make money all right see you in the next one